All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Structure Free Learning. And we're gonna do an example problem on the principle of linear impulse and momentum. We'll be given the mass of a crate, 75 kilograms. It starts from rest and it achieves a speed, a velocity of seven meters per second in five seconds. And we would like to determine the magnitude of force P that's pulling on this crate or this box, okay? And this is what the schematic looks like. Yes, there's my crate here. Oh, 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 oh. And there's a coefficient of friction, coefficient of kinetic friction, right? Mu K of point. And the way that this thing is, is there's like a rope or something here pulling at some angle. And the angle with respect to the horizontal is 25 degrees. All right, all right. How do I know that this is a principle of linear impulse and momentum, right? Other than maybe the problem might have a heading or is in that section, right? Mm -hmm. But the, the clues here for the principle of linear impulse and momentum, things that might give it away are like velocity, you're given a time, duration of time, which would suggest an impulse with the force associated with it. So whenever you have forces, velocity and duration, it's probably saying, hey, maybe the principle of linear impulse and momentum is an option. That principle of linear impulse and momentum is, you know, MV1 plus the sum of the impulses, which is this integral from T1 to T2, the f external force DT equals the momentum at stage two. And, and this whole term right here is the impulse. And, and what we want to do is come up with a schematic that reflects the principle of linear impulse and momentum. So I'm going to draw a schematic. So I have this right here. Sometimes students will jump straight to this. But what I would recommend doing is, is breaking up the schematic to match the principle of linear impulse and momentum. My schematic is going to be this. It's going to be the particle at stage one. What's the velocity at stage one here? So here, that velocity, it starts from rest. So I know this V1 equals zero plus all my external impulses is equal to the mass, oops, mass times the velocity at stage two. So that V2, which is seven meters per second, and it's just horizontal. So you can see how my schematic matches the principle of linear impulse and momentum. You know, I have my momentum at one, my momentum at two, and now I wanna deal with my external impulses. And I look at all the forces that are acting on my particle. And what do I have? I have the force P already. Do I have anything else? I have friction, I have weight, and I have the normal force on the crate. And I'll put NC or N crate just so that we don't confuse it with the units of Newtons. Now I'm gonna apply my principle of linear impulse and momentum. And I'm gonna use the components. This is a vector relationship, so I'll look in the horizontal direction first. And that would be, uh, I'll write it out, M1, V1 plus, let's see, which forces have impulses during that five second interval, friction and P, right? So here for the force of friction, I'm gonna go, let's say T1, uh, we're going from zero to five seconds. So we'll put the range already from zero to five seconds. And we have F of F, but this F of F is just mu K N crate plus the impulse of the horizontal component of the pulling force from zero to five seconds. And this is P cosine of 25 degrees DT. And this is equal to the mass of the crate times V2, which I know. And I know that V1 is zero and I have made one mistake in here. Can you identify what is wrong? NC will be W. That's correct. We'll f find out another way, but it's a different mistake. There's yeah. negative force. There should be a negative for the force of friction. So there should have been a negative. So in fact, this term right here, there should have been a negative sign. All right. And, and so now we have this one equation. Let's see, what numbers do I know? I don't know N crate. I know mu K. I know the mass. I'm trying to solve for P. And V2, V2 is seven meters per second. The mass I know, mu K I know. I'm looking for N crate. Something that we might do is just some of the forces in the vertical vertical for this. But if I apply the principle of linear impulse and momentum in the vertical direction, do I have any velocity in the, in the vertical direction? Zero, right? And then if I do the impulses in the vertical direction, minus zero to five seconds, this W dt plus 
0 to 5 seconds and crate dt and plus the impulse 0 to 5 seconds of he p sine of 25 degrees dt equal to zero because I have no momentum in, the, in that second part. This impulse, all these impulse terms, that would have been the same as summing forces in the vertical. And because we have no acceleration or movement in the vertical direction, it would have been some of the forces equal to zero. And we get the same equation, same equation. So there's no big deal. I can use the second equation to solve for and crate as a function of p. When I work all this out, I'll get fives, five, 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 I'll divide through by five. The second equation right here, what I will end up with is negative w plus n crate plus p sine of 25 degrees equals zero. I would get n crate is equal to w minus p sine of 25 degrees. All right, we would have one equation here. This would be the other equation. And now we're gonna substitute it into uh, equation one. I'm gonna evaluate one right here. So that would be zero minus mu k n crate. I would have the integral with t, evaluate t from zero to five. So that would be five seconds plus p cosine 25, which is also a constant, p cosine 25 degrees times 5 seconds equals 75 kilograms times 7 meters per second. And then I'm going to substitute for n crate, and that would be minus mu k times w minus p sine of 25 degrees times 5 seconds plus p cosine of 25 degrees times 5 seconds equals 75 times 7 which is 490 plus 35, 525 kilogram meters per second. All right, I know mu k is 0 0.3, w is mg, so that's 75 kilograms, the mass times gravity of 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, I got one equation, one unknown, and I solved for p. All right, and finally, p is 315. 0.3 newtons, and that is the force applied on the rope. Let me know if you have any questions. Structure.